whales. Let's get some whales. Let's get some whales. Let's get some whales. Let's dance. Do, 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 do. Hello munchkins and viewers alike, it's me Munchie and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about something new at PetSmart. So we're going to be talking about this wheel, how it compares to others, what is it modeled after because you might have seen something similar to this and is it any good? Even though you probably just saw me spinning it not hearing a thing and realizing, oh, it has to be good, right? Because it's silent. With the new addition of everybody every couple years from a pet store kind of rebranding, putting out new stuff, taking stuff away, let's talk about PetSmart's history. Now, ever since I've been back to the hamster community back in 2018, when I officially restarted my adult hamster keeping before turning it into a rescue. Actually, was that 2017? Oh gosh. Wow, old age is certainly catching up to me fast. Can't believe it. Anyways, ever since I came back, it has morphed and changed, and it has not really changed for the better. Mm -mm. So let's just talk about the new style wheels and go from there. As you saw me hold up this right here, this is the 12 inch silent exercise wheels. Used as a standalone wheel. <laughs> Can't even talk today. Used as a standalone wheel or attached to a wire habitat. If you have this vibrating in a wire enclosure, it is horrific. A stand is there to keep it sturdy for a reason. I have done that in the past. Don't do it guys. Just keep the stand. Work around the stand even though it might be massive. But this one also says removable base for easy cleaning which this is what the base looks like back here. Pretty impressive. It is made out of cheap plastic but for the most part it feels pretty sturdy. Sturdy structure withstands animal wear and tear which is great because in the past we've had 12 inch wheels not withstand the test of time so it would be quite interesting to see if this one does. Caution intended for small pets only do not use with guinea pigs or rabbits. Thank you because you don't know how many times I've had people online say comes with guinea pig wheel or guinea pig exercise balls. If anybody is unaware of guinea pig care guinea pigs cannot curve their back so something like this could actually break their back and or cause internal injuries. Not a good idea. Unsupervised use may result in entrapment or injury. You leave a wheel inside their enclosure 24 seven. Unfortunately, if there is ever an accident, it's gonna be a freak accident. So it's actually a good idea for those of you who are very protective of your animals. Don't keep this next to the side of a tank or wire enclosures because they'll easily try climbing up this. So make sure it's out in the middle so that they're not going to be scaling up this because unfortunately your small animal will try to escape. I will have to make this very clear to people. We are putting them in a confined area. Even though it might be bigger than minimum requirements here in the United States, United Kingdom, Germany, etc., they are still prey animals with a very large foraging territory when we're speaking of hamsters. So there is going to be a natural instinct to want to escape because they feel like this is not natural to them. It is just an instinct pressed deep into their craniums and is bred generation after generation. Next we have the All Living Things Silent Exercise Wheel. By the way, if I didn't already make a mention of it, that's 12 inches. 12, and it's actually quite wide. But this one right here is 6.5 inches. Mmm. Not very happy about this because I will tell you why in a little bit. And last but not least, we got the 4.5 inch. It's so weird. The width of this is actually kind of big, but it's so small. Why? Actually, let me just see what this one says when it comes to the requirements. So it says up here in this little corner, ideal for hamsters, mice, gerbils, and other small animals. Don't even put other small animals because people are going to be like, guinea pigs, right? Guinea pigs, yeah. And then this one says, ideal for mice, dwarf hamsters, and other small animals. No, don't put, don't, no. Not even for, my, no, no. So anyways, now that you've seen the sizes, and I will just try my best to hold them up, by the way, some of these colors are interesting, the others not so much, although them showing orange some love, I dig it. I do like the orange color, especially when you're trying to theme a Halloween cage. That could be kind of difficult. You're wondering, why do I have these? Don't worry, I purchased them from PetSmart to review for this video and then get my money's worth back by returning them with the 60 day return policy, which I highly recommend to people who mistakenly buy the wrong stuff and still have the receipt and or are a member at that place because they will get by phone number and they have your receipt and everything there. Return stuff that you obviously cannot use. So these new stands are actually quite sturdy. I have placed them up and they feel very grounded 
Although the materials do worry me, the great part is that I feel like with this type of patent, when it comes to the actual stand, it will stand up. And I like that. That's probably what made me so intrigued and wanting to do this video is because the stands are great. That is what we're missing. We kept having flimsy little metal stands where there wasn't a whole lot of metal to it and then they could easily knock over the wheel, which was very annoying. But what are these wheels replacing? Because unfortunately, the old wheels that we've come to know might be being replaced because already at my PetSmart, they are being replaced. I had seen a wheel old versus a wheel new. And I don't know if that store was changing it up where they got a new product in and they still had the old product and they hadn't yet got it out of their like PO or whatever system. But just letting you know, this might be the wheel that replaces the old wheels. So what do the old wheels look like? Well, let's talk about the oldest wheel I have because this is not a color of which you see anymore. This one. This one's the eight point, I believe it was three inch wheel at the time, which had the flimsy stand. And as you can clearly hear, it's not silent. I mean, right now it's pretty silent, but it would, it would go like this if a hamster tried running on it. And this is the color that they upgraded this one to. I love this one. I guess it's just so that you can see your hamster better. These wheels, not so great. We only use these wheels for uh, dwarf hamsters and mice. So these wheels are like the minimum at the rescue. However, Roboroskis can use 6.5, but we don't want to use them because we have other animals at the rescue. And if you're unaware, I run my own small animal rescue here in Washington State. Just a little shout out. The phrase is universal wheels, and we wanna make sure that we have wheels we can utilize with other small animals. And if we can't utilize the smallest wheel with all the other species, go up and you're not gonna go wrong from there. <laughs> Even the smaller animals can use them, like Roboroskis. But if you go too big, it might be too hard for that animal to push. So keep that in mind. And then this wheel, the 12 inch one, that supposedly this one is replacing more than likely. But as you can hear, it's really annoying. We actually have these wheels because for a while we had a very big increase of Syrian hamster litters at the rescue and we needed more wheels. And we needed wheels that weren't gonna cost us an arm and a leg and they would be temporary. Unfortunately, the problem with this style, especially since it's so big, is yes, it has the metal stand. It, it does stand up, but the problem is the middle part here, but it goes inward. So it goes up, down, up, down, up, down, forward, back, forward, back for the little knob here. So when they're running, it goes like that and it makes it even worse. So I like the idea that it is kind of close off and it does not require the knob being there. This was originally to copy the style of the KT comfort wheel, which also is a very noisy thing. Even though you might be spinning it, if you have a very big hamster, might get that noise and it's very annoying. I am so glad that they're just hopefully gonna stop with this style of wheel. But KT, of course we know KT will not change. No, mm -mm, nope, 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 they tried, they tried. So it's really cool that all living things the brand PetSmart creates at their own store to sell is actually doing better than KT in some aspects. Not the tiny tail aspect, no, 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 no. But now that you've seen this and you know what kind of PetSmart was trying to copy. What are they now trying to copy? They are trying to copy the bucket wheel. Now, the bucket wheel that comes to mind is Carolina Storm Wheel. This is the 10 inch and this is the 12 inch. Obviously 12 inch is much bigger. So this bucket wheel, which is used by the way, because this is banana's wheel and there was no bucket wheels available that were clean for me to show. But the bucket wheel's point is that it can be movable. It's easy to adjust. It's got legs to go. Ah, see like that down and up so you can position it how you want. But the best part is that because of the way it's designed back here, it's very silent. This was my go-to wheel for the longest time, but unfortunately this wheel is not for gerbils. So it was never my universal wheel at the rescue. The Night Angel series of wheels that came out are now my go-to wheel because it's silent, the base is heavier, and I like the way that you can adjust it up and down because that's my biggest issue with wheels. So this is what this wheel is supposed to be pretty much when 
comes to the base. And I like that. I like that people are now being smart about the wheels because, oh, oh, Petco, Petco and their freaking flying saucer wheels, 12 inches. I don't have it here, I probably should have grabbed it, but they give those to their chinchillas and they break easily and they can't sit on them. And I go, why Petco? Why are you giving chinchillas 12 inch flying saucer wheels where they sit on it and it goes, Pum! Can't Petco themselves uppers, by the way, because pet stores in general, even though they might complain to their upper management, they're never heard. It's customers that get the more say in companies, surprisingly enough, at Petco and possibly at PetSmart too, but I, Petco just is driving me absolutely crazy lately and I absolutely, I have so many horror stories I wish to tell you guys, but maybe not in this video. But anyways, apparently customers are heard better than employees that work at Petco. I'm so sorry, people who work at Petco, I'm, I'm really sorry. But, oh, if you see a chinchilla trying to run on a Petco flying saucer wheel, it's awful. But guess what? These are now being displayed in PetSmart's enclosures for their chinchillas. Now, let's just talk real quickly about sizes and what is and isn't appropriate. So let's just talk about the smallest wheel. I'm really disappointed that they even in 21st century and 2021 for that matter that um they're still doing the 4.5 inch wheel no small animal is going to be able to fit in this they are copying unfortunately this size wheel which comes in the basic starter cages of kt Woo! crap 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 not even roboroskis can really fit inside of here it's way too small so never give a 4.5 inch wheel to any of your animals if i see you guys doing it stop it get some help because Munchie says so. So uh, we went from an 8.3 inch wheel as a middle ground for these line of wheels at PetSmart. And now we're at 6.5 with the Syrian hamster on the cover of this one. E so Syrian hamsters should not be inside of wheels this big and certainly not this. They actually replaced their eight inch wheels at PetSmart and put in the 6.5 inch wheels. Now that's definitely a downgrade that I will say shame on you PetSmart. Gosh damn you and your damn stupid marketing team. Oh, uh, so we're selling like the 8.3 inch wheels. Let's just go down the size. <laughs> The best sizes I want to say when it comes to any sort of wheel lineup that could be very beneficial to animals the most would be 8 inch wheel, then a 10 inch wheel, then a 12 inch wheel. That should always be a lineup because at least an 8 inch wheel will provide enough space for the animal, a 10 inch wheel for Syrian hamsters and gerbils, and a 12 inch wheel for lots of gerbils and bigger Syrian hamsters. Oh, and 10 inch wheels, of course, can be used for mice and for dwarf hamsters or roboroskis. But at least at the end of the day, if you were to go with a new wheel, I'd say check this one out. It's obnoxiously big, that's for sure. But if you have something like an Ikea Detoff or maybe you have even a Night Angel enclosure, this right here landed me, I believe it was $30. Quite a bit of money, but that is in the price range of other competitive wheels. So thank you guys so much for checking out this video today. This has been a Munchie Report on wheel sizes and new wheels at PetSmart. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, commercial boys. Bye, and like the video. Your support is greatly appreciated. So thank you guys so much. And I'll see you around in the next video. Bye-bye.